Hello and welcome to Business News. I am Momobolanli Adishui. President Muhammad Buhari says with the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, the continent can double intra-African trade by 2030, reduce the dependence on imports and also create more jobs within the continent. The president made this known at the opening ceremony of the second Intra-African Trade Fair 2021 event in Durban, South Africa yesterday. Buhari assured investors and stakeholders at the event that Nigeria is in full force to actively participate in the trade fair and to take advantage of all the opportunities it will provide. He, however, warned that Africa cannot achieve intra-African trade by just talking, noting that the implementation will be a difficult journey. He further stressed that all the challenges are surmountable if both the public and private sectors collaborate. The World Bank has said that the destruction caused by the Boko Haram sect has caused economic activities in the northeastern part of the country to decline by 50%. The multilateral institution also stated that Adamawa, Boronu, and Yobe State, which are the, in the Lake Chad region, saw economic activities decline between 2009 and 2013, noting that the region has recorded 50% decline in activities from 2018. Speaking at the launch of the Lake Chad Regional Economic Memorandum, lead economist, World Bank, and co-author of the report, Mr. Marco Hernandez, also declared that for the region to grow, enhanced trade, improved infrastructure must be implemented. On his part, the country director for Nigeria World Bank, Mr. Shubham Chaduri, urged Nigeria to urgently tackle insecurity to improve growth, especially in the Northeast. The National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, has stated that the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which measures inflation dropped to 15.99% year-on-year in October in comparison to the 16.63% it recorded in September. The NBS also noted that the 0.64% point reductions are as a result of moderate increases in all parameters that determine the headline index. This is the seventh consecutive month of decline in the headline index since March, indicating favorable economic conditions. Going by the CPI report for October, as posted on the NBS website, food inflation rose to 18.34% in October compared to 17.38% in October 2020. This rise in the food index is occasioned by the increase in the price of food products coffee, tea and cocoa, milk, cheese and eggs, bread and cereals, vegetables and potatoes, yam and other tuba. However, core inflation, which excludes the prices of volatile agricultural produce, increased to 13.24%, up by 2.10%, compared with 11.14% recorded in the corresponding year. The Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas, NIPENG, has issued the federal government a two-week strike notice, raising the possibility of fuel scarcity across the country in coming weeks. The development came via a statement signed by NIPENG President Williams Akoreha and General Secretary Olawali Afolabi. It listed non-payment of workers' salaries, outstanding short payment of terminal benefits, among others, as reason for its resolution. On the other hand, officials of the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources and NNPC has disclosed that the cutdown in the number of contract workers, especially at NPDC, was part of the ongoing reforms as contained in the recent Petroleum Industry Act. And after months of relative growth, Nigeria's oil rig count fell from 11 to September to 9 in October 2021, according to data released by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, in its November monthly oil market report, MOMR. The reduction of the country's oil assets by two is in contrast to a number of other countries that have their facilities increased evidently, including Algeria, which climbed by three, Congo's, which rose by one, Saudi Arabia's, which increased by seven, and United Arab Emirates, which added four oil rigs. In all, world rig count, that is the combination of OPEC and non-OPEC members' rigs, 
fell from 2,357 in 2018 to 1,610 in October 2021. But with the United States taking the lead with additional 29 rigs, followed by Canada with 13 assets month on month. Well, that's it on Business News. I am Omobolanli Adeshui.